everyone, and welcome to our production of The Wizard of Oz. Just a quick note, we'll be doing the 50-50 raffle at the end of the program. At this time, we ask you to silence your cell phones or any other devices that might make noise. We would like to give a special thank you to Mr. Dempsey, Ms. Mead, Superintendent Furbush, and the custodians who stay late at night and on the weekends for us. Mr. Buckner for assisting us with running the sound and the lights and to the Robichaux, Hooley, and Strangman families for helping out with sets and meals during our long rehearsals, along with all of the other parents for their support, and we can't thank our audience enough, because without you, this would not be possible. We thank you and hope you enjoy the show.
scare the crews off themselves, so I put these stuff contraptions up on poles to wave around. Well then, maybe I should give it a scarier face. The crows might think it wants to make friends. Aw, oh, I like it, silly grin. Well, here it goes. You don't want to be a scarecrow. Trust me. I may look happy, and I often am, but here's the thing. I'm stuffed with straw, and it itches. <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! But the itching isn't the worst part. I'm even used to it now. The real problem is, I'm bored up here all day sitting in the hot sun. Scaring the crows doesn't take up too much of my time. Because nothing I do scares them! There's nothing to do, nobody to talk to, nothing. I mean, have you ever tried talking to a crow? I asked one of them why they're not scared of me, and she says, Because you're made of straw. See, no point even trying with these birds. <sighs> if only... Now. Oh, 
you need help. Oh, I don't care. What do we do? Oh, he's rusted, isn't he? But, but where's your oil?
such a good idea. These trees seem different from the few I'm used to in Kansas. Oh, maybe we've gone the wrong way. We should turn back. We couldn't have come the wrong way. We're still following the yellow bricks. Right. Whoa! Oh. Why didn't you walk around that? I just never think to. That's why I need brains. Do you think there are wild animals here? Most likely. But don't worry, the scarecrow and I are not easily harmed, and you bear the kiss of the good witch on your forehead. Nothing will dare hurt you. Do you think it'll work? I hope so. But we should worry a little more about Toto. I don't think he can defend himself. Did you hear that? You mean Toto fighting with that tree over there? No, it, it sounded like- Arr! You ought to be ashamed of yourself. A big beast like you trying to bite such a little dog. Oh, but, but I didn't bite him. You would have, you big coward. And how did you know? That you're a coward? Why, it's quite clear. Why else would you strike a stuffed scarecrow, a tin man, and try to eat a little dog? Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Oh, I'm such a failure. Only a coward like me would think of doing what I've just done. What makes you a coward? Again? You're huge. You should have much scarier creatures to pick on. Hey, um, low blow. Well, yeah, I know. I'm, I don't know why I'm like this. I guess I was born this way. I'm supposed to be the king of the beasts, but, but I roar like to protect myself. I don't want to cause any actual harm. And when I, when I heard you might be coming, I, I thought you might have been after me. But, but why? I don't know. I'm, I'm a coward. I thought I could scare you before you scared me. That's not right. I, I know, but, but whenever there's danger, my heart starts beating a mile a minute. I can hardly stand it. Perhaps you have heart disease. <laughs> uh, maybe. Well, you should consider yourself lucky then, because that proves you have a heart. I have no heart. So, I, I can't have heart disease. <laughs> uh, maybe if I didn't have a heart, I'd have courage. Well, do you have a brain? Um, I, I don't know. I never looked to check. <laughs> I'm stuffed, so I have no brains. I'm going to the Great Oz to ask for some. And I'm going to ask him for a heart, and Dorothy here wants to do home to Kansas. Well, if, if he can do all that, do you think he could... Do you think you gave me, uh, courage? I suppose so. She's right. And Besides, it might be nice having you along to scare off other wild beasts. She's right. And if they run off, it means they're more cowardly than you are. Oh, I mean, yeah, but that won't make me any braver. And as long as I feel this cowardly, I'll be unhappy. <clears throat> we should keep moving. The little light we have will be gone soon. Uh, of course, you're right. Sorry. Hey, what was that? What? Oh, um, must have been the birds. Um, sorry, nothing, it's nothing, carry on. What about that? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, <coughs> look, a bunny. It was nothing, don't worry, don't worry. What about that? Did you relax? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, we're just, we're getting to the part of the woods where the colliders live. They're, they're really big. And, and they're mean, and they bully me all the time, and I don't like them. I'm sorry. Kaleidos? Uh, nobody panic. But I think we're being followed. I what? I what? I think I can see something, but I can't tell if it's a tiger or a bear. It's a Kaleidos, Ron! There are lots of women that can rip me in two! You and Dorothy, Ron, I'm not afraid! If they rip me in half, I guess I'll be so back together!
depressed. I know. I can hardly imagine how happy beautiful things will make me when I have a heart again. Look at all the flowers. Oh, when I have a brain, I should probably appreciate them even more. I'm sure I could learn to love them with a heart. Oh, I've always loved flowers. Though, I have never seen any flowers as bright as these in the forest. And I've never seen flowers as bright as these in Kansas either. Uh, be careful. I know something of enchantments from that witch, and uh, something smells of strange magic here. Strange magic? I don't see any strange magic, just pretty flowers. Why, they are pretty, and they're so bright. Pretty and bright, pretty and bright, but I tell you, the band is round. 
these parts are fearsome. Welcome. I've only seen emeralds in pictures. They're everywhere here. I've long dreamed of the riches of the Emerald City, but, oh, I never thought it would be so beautiful. A person could likely do great things here with a brain. Oh, I like the city immensely. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Ha! Stop here! We must formally tell Oz of your presence, although he has surely been aware of your journey for some time now. Then, then why didn't he help us immediately, then? Don't ask such foolish questions! God! God! Where is that dress? God. What is your wish? These strangers demand to see the great Oz. Step inside and make yourself comfortable. I will carry your message to him. Ah, excellent, excellent. I must leave you here. Good luck. If you see the wizard, consider yourselves very lucky. Most of us go our whole lives without such an occurrence. to be made of tin. Can't feel it at all. Someone's coming. They're here. Sensory courteous group. Hey, we can we can hear you, you know. Ooh! Are you really going to look upon the face of Oz the terrible? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, but but why is he called terrible? You will see. He is all things and none. Huh? He will see you, but he doesn't like you. I heard his three slippers don't get him in. I hear you. But he doesn't like you. Do you know? I heard his three slippers don't get him in. Of course not. We've never been here before. They don't know, poor dears. Of course, odds can appear as many things. I, 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 Dorothy, I don't like this. I hear Oz appears as a beautiful lady. Ooh. No, no, I do like that. Ah, uh, but I've heard he's a ball of fire so hot that he singes your eyebrows. I cannot abide fire! I hear the great Oz appears as a large heaven. No limbs at that. Terrifying. Okay, if none of you has ever seen him before, how do you even know these things? Rumors. Suspicions. Keep me heads. Don't panic! We're not <laughs> suggesting that at all. Just remember what you want. And how much you want it. I will. Just, just let us alone. The Great Oz will see you now. You must enter in the darkness. After you, Dorothy. Excuse me, but there's no reason to yell. 
And you have no right to speak to me in such a way. You are... I am but a scarecrow. Stuffed with, well, straw, of course. Why do you seek me? Because I am only stuffed with straw, and I come to you praying that you will put brains in my head so that I might be as much a thinking person as any other in your dominion. Why should I do this for you? It is the same for me as it is for Dorothy. No one else can help me. I see. And for you, in the silver? I'm a woodman made of tin, and therefore I have no heart and cannot love. Oh, I, I pray you to give me a heart so I may be as other people are. And why should I give you a heart? Well, because I ask it, and you alone can grant it. You lion! What is it you want from me? I... <clears throat> Speak up! I Very well. I see that I am the last resort for each of you. I'll give you all my answer. You have no right to expect me to give you all the things you desire unless you do something for me. In this country, everyone must pay for everything they receive. If you want me to use my magic powers to send you home again, then you must do something for me first. Help me, and I will help you. Kill the Wicked Witch of the West! We can't do that! And why not? You killed the Witch of the East, and you wear the ruby shoes, which bear a powerful charm. Your friends must be quite resourceful as well, if you've made it this far. This is awfully unfair. Well, I didn't kill her on purpose. And besides, if I did want to kill her, how would I? And if you're so great a wizard, how come you can't kill her yourself? Silence! You have my answer! Until the Wicked Witch dies, you will not see your aunt and uncle again. Remember that the witch is wicked, tremendously wicked, and ought to be killed. Well, how do we find her? She resides in the land of the Winkies, where she has enslaved all of her subjects. And if by any teeny tiny chance we don't do what you've asked of us? I am prepared to give you the biggest kindest, most loving heart in all the world. I'll give the lion all the courage he desires and stuff the scarecrow's head with brains. Dorothy will be returned to Kansas. But none of these things will happen if you do not kill the witch. Well, we've traveled so far. Isn't that enough? There is now but one wicked witch left in all this land, and when you can tell me she is dead, I will give you what you want, but not before. But... why you... Enough! You know what you must do! Now leave me! I will not see any of you again until your task is completed! Why would you want to go there? 
Oz commands it. There is no road. No one here ever wishes to go that way. Well, how do we find her? Easy. As soon as you're in the land of the Winkies, she will find you and make you all her slaves. Not if we can help it. We need to destroy her. Ah, good luck to you. I doubt she'll like that much. Ah, here we are at the gate. I'll just take your spectacles now. Give, give me, give me those. Those aren't, you don't I get to keep those. Now, go away, go. Keep to the west where the sun sets and you will find her. Goodbye. Thank you. when I ride around. Now, give me that. Yes. Ancient curse of Kalala. Let the jokers come. With wings made of wild, in the mind of a child, the golden ball summons you. We meet for the third and last time. What do you command of us? Four strangers have invaded my land, and I have a strong premonition that they're up to no good. Destroy them all. Save the lion, though. I want you to bring him to me. I am surprised she doesn't want to enslave them all like the Winkies. Or simply drive them out when she did the great Oz. These strangers must have some power she fears. Or she's going batty in her old age. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you insult me! We will do as you command, but I cannot command them to respect you. Then out of my sight and do as I say. <laughs> to the Wicked Witch's castle. Once that is done, we'll never have to see her again. Hello. Can either of you tell me where I am? Hello. My, what a pretty little girl with a nasty little dog. Whatever enticed you to pay you a visit? Not gonna speak. Well, those are very pretty ruby slippers. May I see them? No. All right then, you little brat. You better listen to me or I'll put you to work or I'll make it the end of you, just like I did with that little tin woman and your little scarecrow. <coughs> Still not going to talk. Well, you are better than that atrocious lion. He roared so I said he could not be fed until he relents. How dare you? That's not fair. Oh, isn't it? Now get to work on mopping that floor, or I'll strike you! Toto, what am I going to do now? My friends are gone, and if 
I don't, I'll be the witch. She'll probably kill me. I guess we'll just have to think of something. Dorothy? How do you know my name? Delaney is sending me here to send you a message. Wh what is it? He was wondering if you would like to help him on escape. How do I know I can trust you? Because you and I are in the same position. For me and my fellow Winkies have been enslaved by the Wicked Witch of the West for many years, and all of us have no choice but to follow what she has to say. But many of us believe you're here to save us. How can I save your people if I can't even save my friends? Or do myself? I, do I know what else the lion says? Well, yes, of course. He was wondering if you could sneak him some food at night. But won't the witch catch me? Why, of course not. She's afraid of the dark, and if it weren't for her fear, she'd be sneaking in your room at night and would steal your ruby slippers right off your feet. Oh, you can see the line from here from the courtyard. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness. I'd rather sleep out here in the open every night than in the castle. I can hear bats in the rafters and a witch thumping around with her old broom. I hope these scraps are enough. Oh, they're just fine, Dorothy. You know, if it weren't for you, I'd be very bored and very hungry by now. But, you know, I still haven't thought up a good plan for escape. Killing the witch, it scares me. Me too. And I miss the Tin Woodman and the Scarecrow so terribly. Oh, don't worry, Dorothy. I'll keep thinking of a plan. And I guess, I guess I'll keep being obedient so the witch doesn't suspect a thing. See you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night.
Ouch. You can finish your sentence, it's okay. Uh, I was just gonna tell him how I wanted to head back to my heart first, but I'll be back soon, I promise. <clears throat> but I, I'm sorry, but I don't really want anything of hers. Still, it might be helpful. She used it to command the winged monkeys. I wish we could give one to each of you. Oh no, no thank you. <laughs> you know, I heard that the Wicked Witch used it to command the winged monkeys. It still may be useful to you. I, I guess you're right. Um, and it is gorgeous. Well, we should prepare for our journey. Everyone ready? As ready as we'll ever be. Thank you, Winkies. Thank you. Goodbye. What is your command? Um, we wish to go to the Emerald City, but it seems we've lost the way. We can carry you there. Are you sure about this, Dorothy? <laughs> uh, I seem to remember the monkeys who dropped me talking to you over there. Did so with considerable glee. It was one time! We must listen Will you chill? to the com <laughs> Sorry. We must listen to the command of whoever holds the golden ball. Seeing it is your friend who surely wants the best for you. I can give you my assurance that you'll not lose a single straw or receive a nick in your tent. Everyone ready? Not no. Really. no! Watch it. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, wait. There, 
there's no one here. <coughs> this is making me a bit nervous. Yeah. Maybe it's a trick? I am Oz, the great and terrible. Why do you seek me? I still don't see the wizard. Yeah, where are you? I am everywhere, but to the eyes of mortals I am invisible. I will now seat myself upon my throne that you may converse with me. <clears throat> well, we have come to claim our promise. What promise? To send me back home to Kansas when the Wicked Witch of the West is destroyed. You promised me brains. You promised to give me a heart. And you promised me courage. Is the Wicked Witch really destroyed? Of course. I, I melted her with a bucket of water. Dear me, how sudden. Well, come to me tomorrow, for I must have time to think it over. No, no, no. You've had plenty of time. We won't wait another day. Roar! Oh, 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 who are you? Oh, no, 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 no. How do you feel? Well, uh, you know, I'm a little bit 
warm, but uh, overall bursting with courage. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> You're next, I suppose. Step up, step up. If, if you please. I write for my heart. I think you are wrong to want a heart. It only makes most people unhappy. If you knew it, you are lucky not to have one. Well, that's not an opinion, and I'm ready to bear any unhappiness without a murmur. Very well. I hope this doesn't hurt. Oh, I'd better not stab you with it here. You can put it on, put it on. Thank you. I wouldn't want to break my new heart too early. Yes, yes. It's <laughs> too early. Is it a kind heart? Ah, very much so. You've redeemed yourself in my humble eyes. Ah, think nothing of it. Now, Dorothy, my dear, come, come. What shall we do for you? Well, see, I just want to go back home to Kansas. Well, I'm not sure about Kansas, for I have the faintest notion which way it lies. But the first thing to do, I think, would be to cross the desert that surrounds this whole country. And from there, it should be simple to find your way home. Well, how do I cross the desert? When I came to this country, it was on a hot air balloon. You also came by air, being carried by a cyclone. So I believe that air is the best way to travel. And while it may be quite beyond my powers to make a cyclone, I believe I can make a balloon. Can you do that? Certainly. Can I help? Of course. It must be strong enough to carry both of us. You're going with me? <sighs> yes. I think it's high time I see Omaha again. We'll start building the balloon today. Yay. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. serve you in any way which is in our power. You have one final wish. Well, can you at least tell me how I can cross the desert? They do not know, but there is one witch who may be able to help. Another witch? Her name is Glinda, and she's a witch of the south, where she rules over the quadlings. Is she a good witch? <clears throat> they think so. Oh, 
Well, how do we get to her castle? You didn't ask for this, but we'll bring her to you. Well, will she like being carried? Oh, there's no need. Linda has her own ways of traveling. We're simply asking her to come. My child, I am told you are in need of my help. Hi, um, it's Dorothy again. These are my friends. Uh, the Scarecrow, the uh, Tin Woodman, and the Lion. I see. I'm very pleased to meet each of you. You know, you're pretty gorgeous, and you look very brave. Oh, well now. <laughs> Dorothy, what is it that you desire? I just want to go back home to Kansas with my Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. They must have thought that something terrible has happened to me. I see. Where did you get the shoes you wear upon your feet? Oh, um, from the Wicked Witch of the East. My house fell on her and Lynn there. So it's true. You have killed two witches. Well, I, I didn't really mean to. I either time. It's okay. Yes. Well, you have done the I Land of really Oz a great service, and you gained something very special in the process. I, I have? Yes. Those <coughs> ruby slippers used to belong to my mother, but the Wicked Witch stole them from her, and to protect me, my mother didn't fight back. So you indeed must be very special. Do you want a back? Oh, no. You have much more use for them than I. Well, what do I do now? Well, those shoes have very magical powers. They can carry you over the desert to anywhere you want to go. So, so you're saying I can return to Kansas? Yes. If you click your heels together three times, and you can tell them where you want to go, and they'll carry you there. Well, if you had known that before, I may have passed my whole life in a cornfield without a brain. And I'd be rusted in the forest without a heart <coughs> until the end of the world. And I'd be cowering in the woods to this day. Well, you're all the best friends that I could ask for, but now that you have your wishes, I'd like to get mine. Dorothy, if you'll give me the crystal ball, I will see that your friends get to where they need to go. Thank you. Oh, Dorothy. Dorothy. I'm, I'm so happy, sad. All at the same time. <laughs> Bye, Dorothy. Bye. Bye. Bye, Dorothy. Safe travels. Say hello to Auntie M for us. I will. What'd you guys think? So now we're gonna have our cast come out and bow. We have Skylar Connors, Isaac Hago, Emily Berard, and Ethan Vodder. And as their monkey king, we have Nicholas Robichaux. Madison Gillis, Delaney Stevens, Bella Janest Horn, and Cassidy Tomio as the Winkies.
Lindsay Rowling as Tin Man, Molly Slattery as The Lion, and Val Higgins as Scarecrow. <laughs> Emma Wonderlich as Glinda the Good Witch and the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> Tristan Archer as the Guardian of the Gates and Oz himself. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Emma Strangman as Dorothy. I would now like to invite our tech crew down. Sierra Bassett, Bella Eldred, Joey Hooley, Skylar Davis, and Anna McLean. I would now like to invite our seniors to step forward and take a bow. I'd also like to invite Oz, Alex, and Evelyn Henderson to come up and take a bow. They were our extra little munchkins. Miss Judy, Miss Crumloff, none of this would be possible without the two of them. <laughs> and now everybody will get up. And now everybody's going to gather if anybody would like to take photos. They're going to gather in the center of the stage. 